This morning, investigators poring over a horrific play-by-play. -play. Two vintage planes caught on video colliding in midair before falling in a fiery crash. Are you serious? The collision causing both aircraft to break apart seconds before bursting into flames on impact. Investigators with the NTSB spent Sunday at Dallas Executive Airport searching the crash site for any clues that could explain what caused the deadly crash. Five crew members of the B-17 and the pilot of the P-63 were fatally injured. Neither aircraft was equipped with a flight data recorder or a cockpit voice recorder, often known as the black box. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and a Bell P-63 King Cobra, part of the commemorative Air Force Wings Over Dallas show. Both flying low in what organizers call a standard maneuver, bombers on parade. J.P. Santiago watched the tragedy in real time, standing next to his son. I think there was a collective moment of shock where we didn't know what to say or what to do. He's one of hundreds of witnesses now wondering how tragedy struck an air show that flies all over the country. From all the videos, the fighter appears to be out of position and moving quickly and maneuvering in an area where you normally would not be maneuvering if you were in formation with a bomber. Among those who died, Army veteran and former longtime American Airlines pilot Terry Barker, who was on board the B-17 Flying Fortress. Those who knew him say he flew to honor the greatest generation. Ohio's Wing Civil Air Patrol confirming Major Curtis Rowe was lost, adding his service spans over three decades, where he held every air crew rating possible. All the pilots are vetted very carefully. Many of them have been flying for us for 20, 30 years or longer. Great aircraft, they're safe, they're very well maintained. The pilots are very well trained. Now, pilot experience will be just one of the factors the NTSB will be looking at. They also want to see if they can recover any of those audio recordings from the air traffic control to those planes involved, as well as examine the maintenance records for those aircraft. And important to note here, while neither of those planes had those black boxes, neither of them were federally required to do so. Savannah? What a tragedy, Morgan. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.